The Margaret Mead Hall of Pacific Peoples is a great place for people to come and explore the Pacific Islands and the sorts of ways that people in the Pacific live and the things that they make. There's about 2,000 objects in there, many of them collected by the anthropologist Margaret Mead. Margaret Mead worked in the museum's division of anthropology from 1926 until her death in 1978. The objects in the Margaret Mead Hall of Pacific Peoples are just a small sample of what's in the museum's collection. In the storeroom there's about well, nearly 26,000 objects and so many different aspects of people's lives are represented there from utilitarian objects right through to ceremonial, very important ancestral objects. So here we have Laini Haupalawa. They're a very important pendant that were worn within Hawaii. They're all about ancestry and the strength of ancestry. The strands here are actually human hair and they're very finely braided. So they would have been probably the hair of you know, a member of a particular descent line and they would have been cut off at certain ritual occasions. And this is made of whalebone. And the really early ones from the 18th century were made with quite small pendants because it was very hard to get whalebone and it was difficult to make anything very large. But then once whaling began in the 1840s, Hawaiians had a lot of access all of a sudden to lots of whalebone and whale teeth. What we have here is a bark painting from Yakala from Arnhem Land, the northern part of Australia. This is something that was painted to convey ancestral stories, to tell about connections to the land. It was painted by Gaguba from the Galbu Mada language group. It's painted on a piece of bark which has been flattened and he's used the natural ochres and white clay of, of the region as well as some charcoal for the black accents. It's a very wonderful painting, it's one of my favourite of the, the back paintings. So we have a drawer here of carvings from Rapa Nui, Easter Island. Some of them have a lot to tell us about the Birdman religion. Originally the religion that Rapa Nui is really famous for, the great Moai, the ancestor figures that everyone recognises from Easter Island. Birds became an indicator or an important species within the social and economic and spiritual life of the island. It's quite a dynamic kind of carving, it's quite a wonderful form. The other one I wanted to show you is this beautiful Moe Papa figure. Let's get her out very carefully. So these are quite unusual, these female figures carved in Rapa Nui. You can see they're always very flat. The elongated fingers are something that you see once the Birdman religion begins. There's stories about chiefs going into ritual seclusion inside a sacred house and they'd grow their fingernails long and they'd embody the bird god Make Make. But I particularly like the Moi Papa, who are very gentle and graceful figures. So it's my pleasure to introduce you to Paikia. This is an ancestor figure from a meeting house from Tolaga Bay on the east coast of the North Island of New Zealand. This figure was placed at the very top, the apex of a meeting house. He represented all the ancestors from the very first ancestor, Paikia, the whale rider, all the way down to the, the people who were, who were making the, the meeting house. He has the mokos, it's very important facial tattooing for that region, Te Atanga Ahawati. And there's another face here which is also an ancestor. Recently we had a visit from a group from Aotearoa, New Zealand. They came to reconnect to their ancestor Paikia, but also to see the other things in the collection from their community. And it was a really wonderful time for them to be able to hold those objects, to sort of feel the weight of them. These historic objects were made by their ancestors or by people in other Maori iwi. Besides being useful to researchers, the Pacific Ethnographic Collection is a really valuable resource to Pacific Islanders. First of all, just as a source of information because people are often trying to recreate or reclaim ways of making things that they can get evidence for in the collections. These collections are also a great source of pride for people. <laughs>